for a candidate in gaining an endorsement, especially one from a former president, is that voters who supported the endorser will in turn support the endorsee. In our fourth story, that endorsement can have a negative effect if it conjures negative images of the candidate, say a casual use of the term puppies. Keith Oberman and Rachel Maddow. I mean, here's a couple of sick puppies. Apparently, that President Bush has a warped idea of what makes someone a sick puppy because despite Romney's handling of Seamus, Bush 41 is planning to formally induce Mitt, endorse, that was a Freudian slip, endorse Mitt Romney tomorrow. While Romney continues to win over the Republican establishment, he seems to have that same problem continuing with the general public. According to a recent Washington Post poll, half of America has an unfavorable opinion of him, but Romney did his best to seem likable in an appearance on The Tonight Show. Did you ever think that we'd be talking about porn? I mean, with all the other things in this election. I didn't know we were talking about porn. With Leno, Romney tried not to look past the primary. It appears though Republican voters are, according to a recent CNN poll, registered Republicans are getting tired of the race. 40% said Santorum should drop out. 60% said Gingrich and Ron Paul should go. And it looks like they may get their wish, at least with Gingrich. Today, his campaign announced it would begin limiting campaign events and laying off one-third of the staff. Just remember, as Gingrich says, he and Ronald Reagan created 16 million jobs. But that may be a symptom of problems, not a cause, according to reports Sheldon Adelson, whose $16.5 million in donations has single-handedly kept the Gingrich campaign afloat, is expected to make multi-million dollar donations to Crossroads GPS. And at a private dinner at his house with members of the RNC and other Republican fundraisers, Adelson also indicated he was ready to begin donating to a Romney super PAC. But Mr. Gingrich has a backup plan. But you don't have any money. You spend and your own money? If necessary. But uh, more on that, let's bring national political reporter for Politico, David Katniss, into the equation. David, thanks for your time tonight. Good evening, Keith. What happened to Sheldon and Adelson's bottomless buffet of money? Well, he spent $16.5 million and got two wins in uh, two southern states for Newt Gingrich. And I think, you know, he said uh, that's about it. But, um, you know, most, more seriously to the point, um, you know, Republican voices um, have been saying that there needs to be a shift a away from, you know, Newt Gingrich, some of these underlying candidates, into the, to the House and Senate, which is going to be a huge battleground in 2012. You had George Will, the prominent columnist, saying uh, Republican donors should be focusing all their attention there. And that's where American Crossroads, this uh, Karl Rove uh, super PAC, is going to play heavily. They're going to spend a ton of money in these states that could control, could determine control of the Senate. And that's going to have a lot to do with whether, you know, if President Obama is even elected, whether he's going to have an agenda to put forward in, in his second term. The endorsement by George H.W. Bush uh, of Romney, does it mean anything to voters by a sense of a sort of a secondhand extension of Reagan? Or is this just a continuation of the Republican establishment kind of timidly lining up behind Mitt Romney? I, you know, I would, I would say B. It, it matters to establishment and it matters to the media narrative that, look, here's another uh, huge uh, Republican figure saying, get on board. This train is moving away with or without you, uh, Newt and Rick. Um, Romney's now got two out of the three Bushes. I don't think you'll see the, the most recent Bush endorse, uh, uh, the most rec recent President Bush endorse, but you know, he got Senator J Jim DeMint to say favorable things. He got uh, Majority Whip Kevin McCarthy, another a person in leadership here in Washington to endorse him. So I'm sure he's got some more, um, you know, lined up privately, just waiting to come public if he is able to win a, a few more primaries. This is sort of the, the endorsement portion to say, uh, you know, Rick Santorum, it's going to be a no-go and no convention fight. Are they going to get him up uh, endorsed sufficiently that Mitt Romney doesn't have to say anything between now and November? Because there was another conference call today. He was trying to connect with the voters in Wisconsin, and he laughingly told this story about his dad who closed an American Motors plant in Michigan and moved everybody to Wisconsin. And the punchline was there's a marching band participating in a campaign event for his father, the governor of Michigan at one point, and they only knew the Wisconsin fight song as he tells the story. And then the quote was, so every time they would start playing on Wisconsin, on Wisconsin, my dad's political people would jump up and down, try to get them to stop because they didn't want people in Michigan to be reminded that my dad had moved production to Wisconsin. This is another one, like this is like the, the, the I need a garage elevator for my cars story. Is there no way to stop this man from injuring himself?